Hi, I'm Slavic with iDrinkCoffee.com. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to dial in a Mazer grinder for an espresso shot. In front of me I have three different models. I've got the Mazer Mini Electronic, the Mazer Mini with Timer, and the Mazer Super Jolly Electronic Grinder. I'm going to be using the Mini Electronic for this tutorial. However, all of the principles I'll be discussing will apply to any model because all Mazer grinders have the same collar uh, to adjust the grind. First, let me explain what our goal is. We're going to be trying to extract a shot of espresso in approximately 22 to 30 seconds. If you're pulling a single shot, that's 30 milliliters of volume, or if you're pulling a double like I'm going to be, that's 60 milliliters of volume. If your shot extracts faster than this, you're going to adjust and we're going to adjust our grind finer. If it's going slower than that, we're going to go coarser. In this video, we're going to be calibrating using time and volume. And the machine I'm using is a Profitech Pro 700. And I chose this machine because it has a shot timer. So you'll be able to see the shot time and how it relates to the espresso extraction. However, if your machine doesn't have a shot timer, all the same principles still apply. Just use a timer or a stopwatch to time your shots. And you're timing from the moment that you turn the pump on to the moment that you turn it off. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to check where we're at uh, with our grinder. So uh, I'm going to remove this portafilter and make sure that it's clean and dry. And I'm just going to grind my first dose. Now I'll just mention a word about dosing. You generally want the coffee to be even with the uh, top of the basket before tamping. I can already tell you just by looking, this grind is far too coarse, and, uh, but it will, be a, uh, it will be a good example of a common problem that people have. So this is going to extract very, very quickly, and I'm just going to use a large cup for this, and you're going to see what I mean. You see, so that's just gushing out, and uh, uh, it's going to be less than 10 seconds before I have 60 milliliters. Uh, this coffee's fresh, so actually we're still even getting a little bit of crema, which is, which is nice, but this is very much an under-extracted coffee, and it's not going to taste very good. So what I need to do is I need to make my grind finer. So I have to adjust my grind finer now, and the way I'm going to do that is by moving this collar. All Mazda grinders, actually most grinders, have uh, reverse threads, which means they close by going counterclockwise and open by going clockwise, which is the opposite of what a normal screw is. Um, also, I'll mention, when we're going finer, the burrs must be running. So I have to have the grinder running to adjust the grind, and that's only if you're going finer. And the reason for that is the coffee that is in between the burrs, that's still inside the hopper, if we, if we go finer, we're crushing that coffee and it's bad for the motor of the grinder. So I'm going to make my adjustment now. I'm pressing my double button. And because I was a fair bit off, I adjusted it by, by a fair amount. Also, when you make an adjustment, you're going to have to clear some of the grinds that were there from the previous setting. So, so all of our coffee is at the new setting. And now I can grind a dose. So let's see where our second shot is at. You can see the shot timer begin to count upwards. This is also still much too coarse. So I have to go even finer than that, and I'm going to make that adjustment again. So once again, my shot extracted too quickly, and I'm going to adjust finer again. So I have my burrs running, and I adjusted the grinder uh, to a finer position. So this is attempt three. I've adjusted the grinder even finer, and let's see where we're at. Now you can see the machine is choking out. That means the grind is too fine. I'm actually not getting anything. I'm already at 14 or 15 seconds. That means the grind is much too fine. So we're going to have to coarsen it up. Actually, I don't even think I'm going to get a drop here. That, that, that's how fine it is. Uh, so if you get in a situation like this, you need to make the grind coarser. If I let that shot go to its conclusion, it would have taken maybe two, two and a half minutes and it would have been very over extracted and very, very bitter, undrinkable. 
it's generally better to err on the side of shorter rather than longer because uh, over extracted shots are completely unpalatable whereas slightly under extracted shots you, you can still have them I mean they're not perfect but you can still drink them so this will be attempt number four uh, my last shot was of course too fine I didn't get any espresso coming through the portafilter so I have to adjust it coarser and I do that by moving the collar clockwise now the adjustments I'm making are very small uh, because you can't make large adjustments because espresso is measured in micrometers so uh, these are very small adjustments that we're making and we're just trying to get that elusive elusive shot I dumped the coffee there also because I want after I made the change I want all of the grinds inside the basket to be at the new setting so I'm level with the top of the basket more or less what you can do if you like is also weigh your doses uh, this is an 18 gram basket that I'm using uh, so a level dose should be pretty close to 18 grams but of course weighing it is more precise and you can see this shot is much better uh, so the first drop was at about six seconds which is exactly where I like it and uh, we're going to be aiming this is a double shot so I'm going to stop it at approximately 30 milliliters of volume uh, on each side you can see it's actually 30 seconds exactly I have a little bit more coffee on the left than I do on the right and I attribute that to a mistake in my temp uh, my temp wasn't perfectly level so uh, there's a slight uh, d uh, difference between the two shots but uh, this is uh, what we're aiming for. It's a good looking espresso. Nice crema, good striping, and um, uh, at this, this extraction level, the taste is going to be pretty good as well. So now that we're happy with our extraction and the grind consistency, the last thing we need to do is to set up our dose on the Mazer Mini Electronic. And the best way to do this really is with a scale. So I'm going to do a grind and I'm going to see where we're at. And I press the double button, of course. So that dose is actually 15.5 grams. So I'm going to change it because I want to aim for 18. And the way I do that is I hold down the menu button. Then I press my double dose. It's set at 14 seconds. So I'm going to increase that time to, let's say, 16.15. Save it by holding down the menu button and try again. So let's see where we're at. I've got 18.3 grams, which is exactly what I was aiming for. I was aiming for 18, uh, but there is going to be variance with a time grinder and anything within half a gram uh, I'm comfortable with. Uh, so our grinder is dialed in. We're ready to make uh, espressos. The principles that we've shown in this tutorial apply to pretty much any espresso grinder. Uh, the theory is the same. You're going coarser or finer to find that sweet spot to get a 30 second extraction and to get 30 milliliters for a single or 60 milliliters for a double of volume. Now there are more advanced techniques which we'll cover in other videos uh, that deal with shorter shots or longer shots and that we generally do by weight. Uh, but this is a good starting point if you're just getting into espresso. I do recommend going by time and by volume to get a good tasting shot of espresso. If you have any questions about dialing in your grinder or anything to do with coffee or espresso, please feel free to reach out to idrinkcoffee.com. We're always happy to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials, comparisons, and videos about everything to do with coffee. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.